I am Suzanne Young, and I am the author of uh, A Need So Beautiful, and the recently released uh, I Want So Wicked, and I'm going to answer a few of your questions, so let's get started. So for those of you who haven't read it, uh, A Need So Beautiful is about a girl named Charlotte Cassidy who finds herself compelled to help people. Uh, she is physically drawn to be somewhere, uh, to tell somebody something that could change their lives. Uh, she calls it the need, and she is a forgotten, which is a being um, that is here to deliver a message, um, but at the cost of their lives. Uh, slowly, Charlotte is wearing away, and everyone who's known her is starting to forget her. She's also facing a tough choice of completing her destiny or staying in the shadows, um, which is the opposite of the forgotten. A Once a Wicked, which is the sequel, it's more like a companion. Uh, we meet Elise Landon, who also feels the need, but we start to learn about the shadows and what they have is called the want. And it is the need to spread misery as opposed to the forgotten who spread hope. You have some cameos from, uh, of characters from the first book, uh, but we're on a different journey here. And I think it's, it's kind of fun to see what the evil is all about as well. When it comes to a writing series, I've always found that the second book, uh, at least for me, is really difficult. Uh, I think it's a tough task to know exactly how much backstory to add. And, and the fact that this is first person, uh, I can only know as much as my character knows. And since I have a different main character, uh, it became a real challenge to write this book. It was, it was miserable at times, uh, and then there were some times where I learned more about Charlotte from the first book by writing uh, this new, this new scene, these new scenes and these new characters. So I would definitely say that the sequel was much more difficult to write than the first one. A Want So Wicked had a very different playlist than A Need So Beautiful did. A Need So Beautiful had some spooky stuff, but uh, mostly it was really a beat uh, for Want So Wicked. I played uh, a lot of Radiohead, which was great. Um, Kings of Leon for my um, Harlan parts. Uh, I thought the, the way the smoky voice kind of worked really well for me. Uh, I also, uh, The Civil Wars, Barton Hollow, uh, and uh, The Black Keys, Sinister Kid, uh, was one of my favorites for this book. So I'm very excited about what I have coming up next. Uh, in Spring of 13, uh, my new series, starting with the program, comes out, and it takes place in a time where teen suicide has become a national epidemic killing one in three teens. To battle the epidemic, the program has been created in which people showing signs of depression are taken and sent to a facility where all of their bad memories are erased. After that's done, they go back through and stitch together all of your memories, uh, basically creating someone new, uh, a happy, shiny version of yourself. Sloan and James are the two uh, main characters and they are doing everything they can to stay out of the program even though uh, depression is closing in on them. So I'm really excited about this book and I think of it as um, can you fall in love with someone if you erased all of your past together? Can, would, you, would you make the same mistakes? Uh, so I think, I think it's really interesting and I'm really excited about it and I hope everyone likes it. So that is all for me. Uh, hopefully I answered some of your questions and thank you so much for uh, letting me talk with you. Have a good day.